The Springbok Tracker Pro TDR includes a splash-proof USB, a BNC connector, a charging port, an LED for indicating charging, and a power button. First we're going to turn on the Tracker Pro. Along the top of the window you'll find a ruler showing how much cable you're looking at. A battery indicator and the time of day. Under the ruler is your primary waveform. The initial pulse on the left hand edge and your baseline. There are three measurement cursors, one, two, and three. Each measurement cursor is measured from cursor one. Under the primary waveform are three zoom windows. Each zoom window is a four time zoom around each cursor. To move a cursor, Simply touch the zoom window to activate that cursor and then touch anywhere along the waveform to jump the cursor to that location. You can then use the arrows inside the zoom window to fine tune the location simply by touching or holding the arrows to scroll along the cable. Same thing for cursor 2. Simply touch the zoom window, move the cursor on the baseline, and then use the arrows to fine tune the location. You can also move cursor 1. Oftentimes we'll move that to the end of our jumper and save the location for the next time you turn on the Tracker Pro. Inside the zoom window, you'll find a measurement from cursor 1 and a return loss showing the severity of the fault. Under the zoom windows is a set of primary menu options. Under the menu options is a set of sub-menu options corresponding to each menu. When you turn on the Tracker Pro, pulse width is active. To increase your pulse width, simply touch the pulse width you'd like, 5, 20, 50, 100, 300, and 500. When you change the pulse width, you can see your pulse width corresponding in your primary waveform window. Next is vertical gain. Vertical gain will increase the amplitude of the baseline and all faults on the primary waveform. You'll notice that in each button it will say 1x and 4x. That's referring to 1x in the primary waveform and 4x in the zoom window. You can see as we increase our vertical gain all faults along the cable will be easier to find. Next is range. Range is the amount of cable you're looking at. One being the least amount of cable, six being the most amount of cable. Horizontal position allows you to keep the same amount of cable on screen. You can pan left and right. By touching the arrows or holding down the arrows will allow you to scan down the cable and back to your initial pulse. VOP or velocity of propagation allows you to manually move up and down
Save the VOP as a preset, simply touch Save Start VOP. The button will blink a couple times, and the next time you turn on the, v the TDR, it will come up as a preset VOP. You can also go to Favorites to any preset favorites you have in, in your Tracker Pro. Filtering will allow to you to filter out any noise and ambient RF that's on the line. When you turn on your Tracker Pro, it'll be at filter level 16. To turn it off, go to filter level 1. The more filtering you are doing, the more RF it'll filter out. As you increase your filter level, it will also slow down the machine. Auto Search puts Cursor 3 at the largest fault and places markers along the cable anywhere that the TDR thinks that there's an impedance mismatch. You can see we've got a couple of markers along the cable. These also show up in the zoom window. Here we're placing Cursor 2 at the second set of markers and fine tuning the location to the leading edge of the splice. When you click Auto Search, it places markers and then changes that button to Erase Markers. This allows you to erase the markers on the screen. If you'd like them back, just click Auto Search again. When you're testing a piece of cable, a nice new feature is clicking Store. At this time, the Tracker Pro is storing the entire cable, not just what's on screen, at all the pulse widths. You can see when you're storing, the button goes red, and there are little black dots that indicate that we're cycling through all the pulse widths. If you want to cancel, just turn off the TDR and turn it back on, and you won't store that piece of cable. Once it's done storing, the button will go to black. At this time, you can now disconnect your cable get your customers back online, and touch Recall to re review the stored waveform you just stored. Along the top of the screen, it'll say Recalled Waveform and then the time and date that you stored it at. Now you can diagnose the cable just like you're live. Move your cursors, you can use Auto Search, Change your vertical gain, change your pulse width, zoom in, zoom out, change your VOP, all like you're live on the cable. To return to the live cable, simply touch Go Live. When you are ready to transfer a stored waveform from your Tracker Pro to your computer, first turn on your Tracker Pro, then plug in the USB cable into the USB port of the Tracker Pro. With your Tracker Pro, Connect it to your computer via USB. Open up Tracker View on your computer. In the lower left hand corner, click Download File from Instrument. Select the file that you wish to download and click OK. At this time, it is transferring the file and saving it to your computer. Now you can manipulate the waveform just like you were live on the cable. 